Hello everyone, this is IX Browser. This video will introduce the profile synchronization function to you. It may not be difficult to find that when we want to operate multiple accounts on a daily basis, we need to perform operations such as creating new tabs and entering account passwords in separate profiles, which is quite time-consuming and laborious. Moreover, the more accounts we manage, the lower the efficiency. At this time you can use the profile synchronization function to solve this problem. First, we open any number of profiles, click the Synchronizer button at the top of the Profile List page, in the Synchronizer Operation panel that pops up, select the profiles that need to be synchronized, and click Start Sync to start synchronization. Of course, we also have a more convenient method. We can select the profiles that need to be synchronized in the profile list, select Open and Start Sync in the Open in Batches drop-down menu, then we select all profiles in the Operation panel, and click to Start Sync. When we need to stop profile synchronization, we can find the floating component in the upper right corner and click Stop Sync to stop synchronization. Of course, you can also start or stop profile synchronization through hotkeys. When synchronization is started, all synchronous operation can be achieved whether it is mouse click, keyboard typing, or pasting text in the main control profile. When we turn on profile synchronization, the profiles will be arranged according to your preset layout settings. There are two types of layouts, one is the grid layout and the other is the overlapped layout. During use, whether you close some profiles, drag or zoom in or out, you can rearrange your profiles through the one-click arrangement button on the floating component. You can also click the customize button to adjust the layout settings. You can also quickly perform profile arrangement operations through hotkeys. If you need to input some specific text, you can use the simulation input function. Simulation input can simulate real person input, clear content with one click, paste and import text and other functions. At the same time, you can also customize the character input speed in the operation panel. After starting profile synchronization, click the simulation input in the floating component to call up the control panel for related operations. First enter the text content in the text box, then click input box in the main control profile and finally click the enter button in the control panel to enter the same content in all profiles. If you need to enter different content in different profiles, you can use the simulation input random content function. On the page, you can first enter the text content required to be entered in the corresponding profile in different columns, then click the column, and click input box in the main control profile, and then click enter to enter different content in each profile according to the column. You can use the random generation function below to generate random content for each column. You can customize the character length, character set, and first letter capitalization below. After you set it up, click the column and click generate to obtain the content. Importing from template is another way to enter text content. First, click to download import template. In the template, you can fill in the required content and save it as needed. Then, return to the control panel, select the distribution method as needed and click import to upload the template. For the content entered in the column, you can also export it by clicking the export all button below. On the random numbers page in the control panel, you can set the range of random numbers. After setting, click input box in the main control profile first and then click enter. If you want to stop simulation input, you can use the hotkeys shift plus escape. You can find the click delay switch button on the right side of the floating component. After turning it on, you can delay the click operation every time according to the delay time and delay method you set. 
After each click, all profiles will delay the operation according to the delay time you set. After you click in the main control profile, the remaining profiles will delay the operation one by one according to the delay time you set. If you want to stop the click delay, you can turn it off directly on the floating component, or use the hotkeys control plus shift plus F9. You can find the settings at the top of the synchronizer control panel. You can turn on or off synchronized keyboard input, and you can also choose to synchronize mouse events. You can customize the character input speed, click delay speed, and set the click delay mode to serial or parallel. Choose the hotkey you want to set, click the box below and press keys on the keyboard for setting. In the panel, you can choose the layout as grid or overlapped, and you can also make custom adjustments to items such as adaptive, starting position, profile size, profile deviation, etc.